Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use JSF forms and drop down list. We'll cover the following topics. First, we'll define what are drop down list. Then, we'll do a review of the HTML select tag. Next, we'll discuss some JSF terminology. Then, we'll pull it all together with the full JSF page example. All right, so we have a lot of good things in store. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, what exactly are drop down lists? And we've all used them before, right? You have a form, they have a list of options, you scroll through the list of options, and you select the one that matches for you. And then that information set there, you can continue to fill out the information and go ahead and submit the form. So that's the idea of a drop down list. So you've seen these before. So drop down lists have been around for a while. So let's do a quick review of how we can do this with HTML. So we'll have an HTML tag uh, called select. We give the name of the tag. And then you simply embed a list of options. So in this case, we have Brazil, France, Germany, and India. So this snippet of HTML will give us a list similar to what we have here on the right side, just a list of options that a user can select. So now we'll look at how we can use these items in JSF. In the JSF world, a drop down list is represented by the tag of select one menu. E, okay? So the name is not really straightforward, but it's a drop down list. And the whole idea here is with it allows you to select one item from a menu. And that's how they came up with the name of select one menu. So I'm not a huge fan of the name, but that's the uh, actual tag that we'll use for drop down list select one menu. And we'll go ahead and take a look at some examples of how to use this. So with this drop down list, again, we'll have a form, we'll have a list of countries. A user can choose one of the countries there from the list. So how will we do this with JSF? I mean, where's the code and how could we put this together? So here on the center of the slide, we have this idea of a select one menu. And then we give the value pound curly brace student two dot country. So we're going to map that to a managed bean field. Then we just go through and we just drop in a list of items. So uh, Brazil, France, Germany, India. So notice here when we give the select items, we provide an item value and label. So the label is the information that will show up on the screen that the user will see. And then the value is an actual code that you can have for that entry. In this example, uh, the value and the label are the same, uh, but you can imagine an example where the value could be the three letter country code and the label could be the normal full name of the country. All right, so now we saw the little code snippet. Let's go ahead and pull this together with an example. So on the top left, I'll have this form, student two form.xhtml. We're gonna have a new entry here for country, and that's gonna be our dropdown list. Uh, we'll also have a managed bean. We'll call this managed bean student two, just so it's a different class name than our previous examples. Uh, it's gonna have the actual country. And then at the bottom, we'll have a student two response.xhtml. So we'll simply update this confirmation page to also list the country that the user selected. Now, whenever I have a new programming task, I always like to build a to-do list. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new managed bean called student two, and it's going to have the first name, last name, and a new field called country. Then we'll update the form to make use of our JSF tag, the select one menu that's for our dropdown list. And then we'll also update the confirmation page to display the selected country. So we could say the student's country is X. All right, so we have a lot of good things in store. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and move into Eclipse. Uh, once I'm in Eclipse, I'm gonna use that existing project that we've been working on so far, Hello. So that was created in one of our previous videos. The first thing I need to do is create the managed bean. So I'm going to move down into my Java source directory. Uh, I'll right click, I'll say new class. And the name of the class is student two. And again, we're using a different name just to make it unique from the previous example that we worked on. And I'll keep all the, all the other defaults here and I'll hit the finish button. 
Okay, so this is our basic student class. Uh, our student two is gonna be a managed bean. And I'll import the appropriate items. And again, remember that we need to import Java X faces dot bean dot managed bean. Select that item and Eclipse will help you out there. Great, so now we need to simply uh, define our fields for first name, last name, and the country. Let me just expand the window here for a second. Okay, great. So we have first name, last name, and country. So country is a new item that we're adding here for this uh, example. All right, so this looks pretty good so far. Now the next thing we need to do, of course, is create a no argument constructor. So I'll just create this new constructor here for student two. Does nothing. Very good. Let me just give us some free space here. And now we need to generate the getters and setters for our fields. So this will expose properties uh, to the JSF system. So again, I'll make use of that really cool Eclipse trick of doing a right click, going to source, and then moving down to generate getters and setters. So remember, Eclipse will actually generate the getters and setters for us uh, automatically. So it'll give me a box here. I'll go ahead and select the fields that I want. So I'll choose uh, country, first name, and last name. And I'll hit OK. And now we have this new code that was just created for us. So this looks really good. So we have fields for, I'm sorry, we have methods for first name. And we have methods for last name. And finally, we have methods for country. All right, this is great. All right, so now that our bean's taken care of, let's go ahead and move over to our form. So I'll move into the web content directory. So web content, I'll choose student2form.xhtml. Just expand the window here. Uh, we'll keep all the standard stuff that we had before. The one thing I'm gonna add here is a new entry here for country. And I'll set up my select one menu. So this is our drop down list. And we're gonna list all the countries that the user can select. So here on line 24, I have a select one menu. I bind it to student2.country. So remember in the student two class, we have a field called country uh, with public getters and setter methods. So that'll read and write uh, to that uh, managed bean. And then we just go through and list out all the different options, uh, the item value and the label. Again, labels what's displayed to the user and the values of code we can use in the background. And that's pretty much it. So that's our form. And then finally we have our submit button and our action, we're gonna send it over to a new page, student two response. And remember, we don't have to get the extension here. JSF will automatically look for a page called student two response.xhtml. All right, so let's go ahead and move over to our confirmation page. So our confirmation page is student two response.xhtml. I'll go ahead and open up this file. So we have on line 12, uh, we have the information before the students confirmed. The new information is on line 16, the student's country. And then here we give the pound curly brace student two dot country. So that'll actually talk to that managed bean. It'll call the getter method on uh, for country. So it'll call student two dot get country. And the results will be displayed right here in the page. And that's basically it. Good job. All right, so I just ran the application. Here's our form. We have first name, last name, and we also have our drop down list. So I'll go ahead for the first name, I'll enter AJ Rao. And for the country, go through and choose something item out of here. I'll choose India. And if everything looks good to me, I'll go ahead and hit the submit button. And then we get our confirmation page. 
uh, the student's country is India. So this is great. So it works exactly as desired. Good job. Okay, so in summary, what we did was we actually learned about drop down list. We also reviewed the HTML select tag. We looked at some of the JSF terminology for select one menu. And then finally, we wrapped it all up with the full JSF page example. So a lot of good things we've accomplished here. All right, so this wraps up the video. In this video, I showed you how to use JSF forms and drop down list. Stay tuned because I'm going to make some enhancements to this example. Instead of hard coding the form data, I'm going to show you how to read the form data from a managed bean. So stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you then.